Hi, are you thinking to appear in Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam and you don't know where and how to start, then you are at the right place. I'm your friend Pawan Kumar and in this video I will talk about that how to get ready for a CKA exam. The first thing, you need to go for the training. You can attend any online class or can go for classroom training as per your comfort. If you don't have time to attend the classroom training, I will suggest go for online course. The best course I found on Udemy called Certified Kubernetes Administrator with Practice Test. This is the best, most rated online course for Kubernetes Administrator exam. I, I myself has gone through this exam, uh, training course and passed the CKA exam. So I'll suggest you to go with this uh, course. Why I'm suggesting this course is basically in this course you will get all content as well as online lab to practice each topics also mock exam questions to practice so uh, you can clear your doubt after attending one class online and uh, uh, at the same time you will get the practice lab so that you can practice and clear your doubts upon so I'll suggest for this training the next thing you need to do practice so whatever practice test has been given to that Udemy online course you can follow that training and you can follow that practice test so you will be ready for the exam after that if you want to practice in your own created lab please follow this link or you can watch my online videos on YouTube uh, from this URL links I'll put all all these two links in description you can use that links later on next thing the tips CK exam is based on to do in present terminal by CNCF sometimes it's not possible to remember everything so CNCF provides some ease to gather those information you use during exam you can open one extra tab apart from the exam terminal so among from these all links you can open any one of the any one of uh, link and uh, during uh, during your exam so uh, this will help you a lot so as uh, per my experience I had open kubernetes.io slash docs URL because you will find everything whatever you need to pass an exam I mean you will get everything so I'll show you that how you can utilize this URL links so I had suggested you to go with with, with the Kubernetes IO and slash docs so let's say in the exam uh, they have asked you a question about init container so search simply go in search box and select for init containers and you don't have to open any other link which is which will take you out of this website let's say you can see that this link is uh, asking you to go to the kubernetes.io kubernetes.io but as you will go below you will see some other url links are there but here you will you are not able to find other links but when you will click and on it uh, you may find some other links to go for this particular topic so let's say you have uh, I got one example at here so let's say this is called discuss.kubernetes.io this is also valid URL you can go and search of your requirements so none of the other I found let me search for other uh, I want to create a deployment so deployment I may find some other URL links so I don't find so just you need to remember at here if you search anything at here and uh, in the search box in the search results if you get some uh, your content you, if you get your contents and it is asking you to go to some other URL website URL so you need to ignore that because that is uh, that will not allow by the proctor who is taking your exam so I was giving you an example of the init container
click on it and you don't have to read all this just go for the examples so whatever topic you will search just go for the examples in the examples you will see that uh, most of the examples are there so you can follow that one let's say uh, they wanted you to write some init containers in in the existing pod or existing deployments or the new pod they want to write they want you to write and you don't know the content that what content will be used for init containers so in that case you can come at this place and you can copy this init containers and you can copy all this so whatever command it is asking you to put uh, to uh, execute by the init containers you have to put those commands in it so yes of course you need a little practice on it but definitely you will get everything from here and you can copy and paste and just correct your requirement and apply in the examination terminal let's say uh, if you if they want you to write a persistent volume just type in search box click on the link and here you can see as you will go below or you can simply type this so as I came below so this will come uh, I mean you need to every time you need to follow this documents every times whatever you need to search don't go on google.com just come at this uh, place and search everything whatever you need to do so this will be in your habit so that it this will help you during exam so make it in habit okay so uh, this is the tips that you need to that that will help you to uh, during exam okay so the next thing is basically exam technical instructions so as you will feel or registered for the exam the uh, technical instruction will be provided there but I just wanted to make sure that to remember these things uh, before entering into the exam so I mean uh, you will get the full list of the instructions by typing man if underscore exam on the examination terminal panel so this that will give you the complete instructions of of what you whatever you want to see but these are the importance apart from that I don't found anything important but these are important you need to remember so of course if you want a root access then you can type sudo minus i and uh, uh, at, during the exam if you want to reboot your server you have you are permitted you don't need to ask anyone or think twice you can reboot your server if you need it but as per my experience you don't require you would not require to reboot any server during the exams but maybe some new questions can be added to reboot the servers so you don't have to afraid you can go ahead and you can reboot in the third step do not stop or tamper with the uh, with the start uh, with the terminal process as this will end your exam session so whatever tab you have open in the chrome browser you don't have to refresh it you don't have to simply go and refresh uh, there will be a refresh uh, button in the examination terminal uh, so you have to choose that but you don't have to do a uh, 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 browser refresh uh, th that as you do normally so uh, be careful with that do not block incoming ports 8080-4505 and 4506 on your laptop. So make sure that your, your laptop is not having such kind of firewalls enabled which can, I mean, which will, which will let you stuck with the examinations to coming up. So be, uh, I mean, be um, extra prepared for that. And the most important one is basically don't use control W. If you will use Control W, you can uh, practice yourself. When you will open Google Chrome, uh, and uh, in any tab, if you will do Control W, it will it will close your that particular uh, tab. So don't ever try to do Control W in the exam. B mark uh, mark it. You don't have to press this button. Okay. If and for the extra uh, detail, if you want, you can go at this link and you can. Uh, find extra instructions or in the terminal you can find man if exams or while registering for the exam or uh, uh, updating for the examination 
on the panel you will get this similar link to go and check the technical instructions okay in the exams uh, for ck exams you will get six clusters so one two three four five six clusters mostly i mean most of the questions will be executed on k at s cluster where you will get one master node and two worker node so most of the exams uh, questions will be performed on this and some of the other questions around uh, uh, you can say that around five to six questions will be uh, will be connected to other clusters some of the clusters will will require to uh, initialize some of the cluster would be required to install all packages like kubectl uh, kubelet kubeadm docker you need to install that packages and you need to manually initialize by using kubeadm so again i have given you the link of the youtube channel you can go there and you can find out that how you can install using the cube adm in neat command so that has to be done and uh, and some of uh, some questions will be added as a, like uh, uh, i mean you need to fix the issue of the kubernetes cluster so they will create some kind of issue in the in the kubernetes clusters so what i found in the exams basically ik it is the last cluster the last one i found with the error the loop back error so there i i was not able to i mean that was the problem of the kubernetes cluster friction so i did that so um, so that's all with the clusters uh, that you need to use and every time like let's say uh, you want to connect with you have to connect with the master of hks hk at s and the worker nodes so th this will be the basic this will be the base cluster of yours uh, during the exam and that will be marked as a node dash 1 so you can see at here this is node dash 1 so if you want to connect any of these clusters you have to be there on node dash 1 the base terminal and from there you have to type ssh hk at s dash node dash 1 so how i get the name of the node 1 or the master i will get so uh, you don't have to worry about that in the exam it, that that they will provide you the name of the master or the name of the nodes so if you want to go to the master you have to be on base node if you want to go for the uh, the worker node of that of this particular cluster again you need to need to come back to node 1 and from there you need to uh, uh, ssh if you will think that from master you can uh, you will have connectivity to the node 1 uh, for ssh it is not there so any node any worker node any master node you want to connect simply you need to come on base node node 1 and then you can ssh from there so that's it in this video uh, for this i'm sorry for this video uh, i'll see you in the next video guys if you want to ask any questions or if you want me to create any video that that you want help uh, with the cka exam just let me in the uh, let me know in the coming comment box and i'll try to create video for that and uh, so that you can get a help also i want to tell you that uh, you have to go through this exam if you want to pass the uh, uh, cka exam and if you if you want to know that how to do the study if you don't have much time and you want to do uh, depth study and then uh, how you can read about the content how you can do the practice how you can access the labs if you have any such questions please let me know i will try to create a video for that and that will help you to understand so that's it for this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye